good evening, everyone. And I want to firstly thank uh, the mayor and city council, and especially Misty, for uh, helping us coordinate this. We've uh, attempted to schedule this many times over the last few months and had it postponed. Um, but we, uh, we appreciate your flexibility. Uh, it's an honor and privilege to stand up here this evening to honor Ralph Dunning. Uh, I need everyone to go back in time with me a few years, 19 years ago to be exact, to remember the Loveland in 2004. Or should I say the lack of Loveland in 2004 because it was a very different place back then. There were no crowds, there were no parking, there were, there were no parking or traffic problems either. For some of us, we remember it well because it was a rough beginning for Plastic Grill. Fortunately, we were the only place in town, so the kind of people who love them kept coming back until we eventually got it right. You may be asking, what was it that allowed Paxton to get it right? And we, my partners and everybody involved, are here to tell you that it was our decision to hire Ralph back in 2004. Over the years, lots has changed in Bowen. Scott Gordon in the works was the first to join in on the fund in late 2004, and then Thomas followed a few years later, and many others have followed, some that are still around, some that are not. What hasn't changed, though, is Ralph's, uh, Ralph and his consistency and faithfulness to Paxton's and the Walton community. Over the years, there have been hundreds of employees that have come and gone. So many got their start with Paxton's as young high school kids and then worked their way through school and have gone on to bigger and better things. They now come back with their families to visit because of their fond memories of their days at Paxton's. Our employees, past and present, have always been Paxton's biggest asset and Ralph created an environment where they were part of something bigger than themselves. It was more than just a job. It's heartwarming to see the effect Ralph and Paxton's has had, uh, has had on so many lives over the years. Ralph has always been community-minded, and I can probably say that under Ralph's leadership over the years, Paxton's has donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to so many programs that are part of the local community. From schools, like Food Pantry, Nest, just to name a few, and all the other local nonprofits and local causes. If there was a need, Ralph stepped forward to leverage the resources he had available to him and help any way he could. Hundreds of thousands may seem like a stretch, but I know what we've given or donated on a given year, and you multiply that by 19, that's not an exaggeration. Not too long into his tenure, Ralph started the annual Paxton's Real Golf Outing, which benefits another great organization, Cancer for Kids. By the way, if you haven't signed up, there's still spots available on June 9th, 10th, and 12th. See Ralph afterwards. <laughs> if I didn't say it, he was uh, Through the years, I know Ralph and his tremendous committee of volunteers, some of whom are here tonight, are closing in on the $1 million mark for monies raised over those years. What started as a few foursomes playing golf for a good cause has turned into a major fundraiser supporting life, saving research and development. Ralph, thank you for all you've done and your continued support of the golf outing. Back when we opened, excuse me, back when we opened Paxton's in 2000, our vision was always to create a family-friendly establishment that was welcoming to everybody. Quite the goal when you were taking over a place called Tequila Jacks. Although it took some time to create the culture, Ralph stayed consistent to the vision and created just that, a truly family-friendly establishment where everyone feels welcome. I've heard so many times that Paxton's is the cheers of welcome, and we all take tremendous pride in that. Rumor had it they were looking to create a sitcom but, uh, called Paxton's, but they couldn't figure out who to cast for Ralph's character. <laughs> Someone said Brad Pitt was uh, <laughs> looking to do it, but he wasn't good looking enough. So it's probably better for that because some things uh, like Ralph just can't be replicated. As one of his partners, I know I speak for the others as well. Ralph has brought us peace of mind and comfort over the years. This business is not easy, and there isn't a day that there isn't a surprise or something that has to be dealt with to get the doors open. And regardless of what it was, Believe me, there were some doozies over the 19 years. Ralph took it in stride and handled it with professionalism and character. So although we are honoring Ralph due to his retirement, we already see that he isn't going to ride off in the sunset. He's still pulling a couple shifts at Paxton's and helping out at the new place in Madeira. As they say, you can't keep a good man down, and I can honestly say there aren't any better than Ralph Dunning. Ralph, from the bottom of my heart, we are so appreciative and thankful for uh, who you are and what you've done over the years to help in creating the loving that we all enjoy today. 
you know that scene in It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart? He has the opportunity to go back and see what Bedford Falls would look like if he wasn't around. Called Potterville, right? Pretty, pretty dark place. Well, I imagine if we were uh, to remove the impact on what we were years, it wouldn't be anything close to what a wonderful place it is today. Congratulations on a well done, uh, job well done, a season in life well lived. We want nothing uh, but the best for you in your days ahead, playing lots of golf and spending lots of time with your parents. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you. 